What's up you guys? My name is Liz and welcome to the very first video of my YouTube channel. To commemorate the very first video, I thought I would challenge myself and go shopping with only $100 to spend inside a shopping mall. Now some of you might be saying, that is actually a lot of money, it's a good amount, you're gonna be okay. But as you're quickly gonna notice, it's not as easy as it looks. Since I am shopping in between seasons, there is really no sales going on in the mall right now, so I did run into some issues uh, throughout the video, so I'm just gonna show you guys how the entire process of shopping went inside with only $100, and without much explanation to give to you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the video. Let's go! Alright guys, I am about to go to the mall and get some money and stuff like that so that I can start with the whole shopping adventure. I am gonna hope that just $100 is gonna be it. We'll see how much I can spend including food. Let's just check out and see what sales there is today for Christmas and stuff like that. See if they already started with the holiday sales. So yeah, let's get to it. the mall and I have $100 cash we're gonna see what I can get including food and clothes shoes that's gonna be pretty expensive so I don't know about that but yeah let's see alrighty let's get back to action I mean, I gotta say that there is a lot of stuff here. Ooh. Okay. Honestly. Whoop. Never mind. 50 bucks. Oh, cute. Also 50 bucks. Never mind. I'm honestly starting to believe that it, this is not gonna work out. All right. Some body works. Let's see what I can find here. literally spent about 20 to 30 minutes here in the store just looking around and now I'm in my favorite section the nightmare before Christmas section because I am obsessed so right now I'm at Minisu Miniso uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name but it is this like Korean store and they like have a lot of cute things here. <laughs> Let me show you. These things are super cute and they're so soft. Okay, so let's see. I am in need of an eyelash curler. Oh my god. I need to like make sure I don't buy like I don't buy any plushies because I still cannot find anything that is less than $20. So here I've noticed that they do have a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna see what what the best thing I can do is. Oh look at that. Jewelry for 95 cents. This place is freaking amazing. Oh, so cute. 
And for $8.95, I am so down. Oh, look at that. Let's see. I swear to you, the pillows here are the softest. Oh my god, the softest things in the world. And cheap too. Oh my god. Oh, I want one. I think I'm probably gonna do that. Guys, I think I might end up actually buying a plushie. The pillow or something is so soft. And for $7.99, I'm so down. Ooh, I need plates. You know when it has to come when it comes to like shopping on a budget it is really really hard so let me see if i can find anything oh sunglasses let's see what i can get <laughs> loki oh look i love it 8.95 i'm sold out oh my god this is so cute a look I think yes. Ooh. Wow, these are so nice. Okay. Oh, look at this. These are badass. Mm. I think these are it. Definitely gonna tell you guys. <laughs> All right, I am going back to that pillow because I want that pillow. Like, I mean it. <laughs> I'm about to get that because, because why not? All right, so I need to find myself an eyelash curler before I run out of money and I'm just like spending too much. Okay, these, this looks awesome. Like, it has like these little, I don't know, you guys can't see it very well. It has like, oh, there it is. It has like these little brushes that are supposed to like help it curl the eyelashes more. So, Loki, you love that. Look at that. How does one curl their eyelashes with that? I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but it's $2.95 worth it i could just get a normal one. Oh, normal this is 4.95 why oh it has an extra see right there all right have a good day okay i'm calling it a day time to go home home we are changed we are a little bit more comfy now it's time to show you guys the haul so here's the thing when it comes to the haul I actually made a pretty big mistake I really ended up getting a lot of stuff from Bath & Body Works considering that they had a sale of 50% off on all of their fall candles since the fall season is coming to an end and it's gonna become winter so they were having a sale on those and I spent most of my money on it <laughs> on just candles so I will show you guys that and I had to shop somewhere else so first I'm gonna start with the store where I ended up getting a lot more stuff than just Bath & Body Works So I'll go with Bath & Body Works later and I'm gonna start with Miniso I loved shopping there so here's what I'm gonna show you guys So I got this pillow, it's the nicest, softest and most comforting pillow ever um, It cost me, it did cost me $7.95 but considering that this pillow is like super soft and this is a good it's a good size honestly i thought that this was a great buy because i mean it was also 7.95 and pillows are usually like 20 bucks i got this i got this right here it's a velvet matte lip tint i got it in the color peach pink this is very 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 strong it's really really good i tried it on my hands and I thought that the peach pink was the one that seemed the most natural so I thought well why not stick to one that is the most natural so yeah this is what we also got I got this eyelash it's called eyelash clip but this is actually just a, an eyelash curler considering that I actually really really need one since my last one broke so that I got that I bought these sunglasses oh my god look at it they were $8.95, so these were the ones that, the, that were the most expensive. Because I did get like over $15, they were having a sale that if you get over $15, you get something for free. And I did, I ended up getting the this uh, Wee Bear Bears Halloween plush. It was originally $6.95, but I got it for free. When I went to Miniso, I had only $29 left, and it was actually all I needed. I literally 
had to pay 29.14. I was only 14 cents over right here. That's how much I actually made. So yeah, I was left with $29 and $29 is what I spent on here. When I went in, I got hungry. So I spent 10 bucks on food. So that was what I was missing. Then I went into Bath and Body Works and I thought, why not shop there? Because I love the fall candles. I ended up getting five candles, three full size and two small ones. They were having a sale for these two, uh, for two of these small candles for $18. And I thought it was just a really good buy considering that these were actually the winter season candles. This one this smells really good. I went into the store and I was like, huh, I, want, I wanted to smell something that was very wintry and, you know, Christmassy. And I, uh, this one is the rose water and ivy and I really, really, really like this one. When I smelled it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this. So I decided to get it. Originally, it's $14.50. So technically, I only like paid full price for one and $4 for the other one. This one is called Frosted Cranberry. Scented candle made with essential oils. So both of these little ones are made with essential oils and oh my god. <laughs> I absolutely love this one, you guys. It is oh so so good. It smells so good. And look at this. It even has a little tiny Christmas bear in the front. So yeah, I thought these were a really, really, really good buy. This was is one of my favorite candles. It is the pumpkin cupcake, which is for the fall season. They only come out on the fall season. So I decided why not go and shop for some. And these is this was originally $24.50, but I got it for $12.25 because all of these full-size candles right here, yeah, all of these candles were they were 50% off because they're season candles. <sighs> That's so good. I also got the banana cream pie candle. This is also seasonal. I mean, you can tell by the smell. <laughs> oh, it makes me hungry for some sweets. Since I got these candles, I think I'm probably gonna have them for like the entire year, which is gonna help me until next year when I have to go buy more. So this one is called Mahogany Apple. And I didn't think that it was gonna be seasonal for the fall, but when I smelled it, it smelled very... I see it. It's like a scent that is. It's like, it's like a boy candle. <laughs> if you guys even know what that what that means, you know, like when the guys have like their deodorants that smell really good, like Old Spice or what Axe. This candle, I thought smelled really good. It like, even though it's like a boy candle, I think I'm gonna light it up just to like. I don't know, pretend like I have a boyfriend or something. I ended up actually spending like around $50. In total, it was $59.53. So $60. In total, it was $60. I know, I know, for five candles, I know. <laughs> I ended up being left with one. One dollar and yeah, that was it. So so anyways guys that was everything that I got for today That that was the full one hundred dollars right there um, It was not a lot of stuff considering that I wasn't able to find much stuff that was on sale with clothing and stuff It was either too expensive or very not my style So I, I ended up shopping for other stuff and got something free in the end Overall, I think that this was a really good haul. Um, thank you to Miniso and Bath and Body Works that actually allowed me to film in the in the store. Yeah, guys, that was the end of my haul, which is leading to the end of this video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below what is your favorite scent from Bath and Body Works and what and from what season it is. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.